Hey what's up guys, as you may have seen from the title, this is a different type of video. This isn't the Road to the Large Spade series. In this episode I'm going to be going over these inconspicuous holes and inconspicuous crates. Uh, they're known as the hidey holes or stash units. I'm just going to put up a shot of uh, the RuneScape website, as you can see here. Uh, you need You need a certain construction level to make these stash units. So, as you can see in the game, I don't actually have one here. Uh, the update came out about two days ago. I just want to see if they are worth using, and also can you put any other items in there, other than the items needed for the clue scrolls. For example, this clue scroll needs an iron kite shield and steel longsword. So it would be really cool if you could put other items in there. So what's happening for me is I say I teleport in somewhere like this and I have to do this clue scroll. Um, there's three items required. So I'd go to my bank account and I'd only get two of the items out and then sometimes I'll forget, oh shit, what's the third item? Check the clue scroll again and then I have to go into the bank again. So it saves, it's going to be saving quite a bit of time. Also, the, you, don't need, you don't need to use the teleport as well. Like, say, if you're going to Alcarid Mine, you don't have to teleport to Castle Wars, for example. You can just go straight to Alcarid Mine and the items are already there. The other thing is, after you've completed the clue scrolls and you want to do more clue scrolls, you don't have to go straight back to the bank, bank the unnecessary items, such as the leather chaps. Whoops, I just ate a fucking trout. But yeah, you don't have to bank the items. You... Whoops. What the fuck am I doing? You can just keep, carry on with the clue scrolls. So for me, I'll just go straight back to the ham hideout and get more clue scrolls and carry on. It's, it's going to save a lot of time. It says on the RuneScape website that it saves you, you know, a lot of space. And it definitely will because I'm using an entire tab in RuneScape. I'm just going to show you that as well. You know, I've got quite a few items here. It's taking up a uh, quite a bit of a number of the bank account and also I can just use this tab for something else which would be really great see there's another one for the master clue scrolls what level do you need for these just check uh, you need 88 88 construction so obviously I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon I'm just going to bang out this 27 construction very quickly and then we'll get it carry on with the video so yeah, I didn't know construction was so fast. I just uh, bought uh, 180 planks to get me to about 20 construction, and then I bought about uh, 140 oak planks. Uh, it got to it got me to about 30 construction, and while I was doing this, I thought of some other things that I might encounter like needing multiple items for different emotes in different places say you need an iron kite shield in Alcarid Mine and you may need an iron shield in Draenor, Draenor Marketplace so obviously I'm going to have to buy two of those I'm going to have to make a few more trips to the Grand Exchange or I'm going to have to make, make a few more myself so I'm just getting level 27 construction here and it says you can now use stash units. I had a few oak planks left over, so I got to 30 construction with that. And then I realized that I needed normal planks to make these stash units around the game. So I went buying in the Grand Exchange for about 800 each, so I just did two trips to the sawmill. It took me about five minutes. The reason I did two trips is because it doesn't say on the RuneScape website how many planks you actually need and how many nails you need to make a stash unit. I'm not expecting it would be much, but there I will be making a few around the game because I do use quite a quite a few emotes for the easy clue scrolls. So now that I've got the appropriate construction level, I've got a few planks here and I've got a few nails, so I'm gonna make this one. Got the items that I need to put in the stash. So it looks like it uses two planks and ten nails. And I think you can only use, you can only put the items into the stash that would require the emote in that area. 
the game already knows what items they are, so you can't actually put anything else in there. Um, and you also get 150 construction experience. So I'm going to be taking uh, two planks and some nails with me around the game when I'm doing clue scrolls so I can build the stash units. Also I'll need to have uh, multiple items now such as gold rings. I know I need two, at least two gold rings and I need a few leather chaps which I do have already but I'm not sure of the other items. Anyways if you enjoy the videos please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next video. See you guys.